I'm stood here on Pilgrim Street in the heart of Newcastle city centre, about 50 metres from the monument just there. And behind me, you can see there's a load of demolition work going on, and this has been going on for quite a few months now. Stack used to be on the right hand side now, that's gone just a few weeks ago. The bottom end of Pilgrim Street, there's a, a new office being built. So, what on earth is going on? Well, you've been asking me in your thousands, dozens, about what's been going on in this whole Pilgrim Street area. So I'm going to put the video together and explain exactly that. It's coming up. Since medieval times, Pilgrim Street has been strategically important to Newcastle. It formed one of three arterial routes that used to run through the old town when we were surrounded by a town wall. You had Pilgrim Street here, so-called because it was in reference to the pilgrims who used to visit the shrine at Jesmond. You had Newgate Street where the old jail was and also Westgate Road. So these were the three main streets that ran through Newcastle. Pilgrim Street represents one of the most strategically important city centre regeneration areas in the north of England. It's going to be a brand new destination in the heart of Newcastle city centre and it'll have three grade A office buildings, a new public square, retail, leisure, hotel facilities and a new car park. Running through Pilgrim Street, when it's all finished, it's going to be landscaped with planting areas, seating areas, cafes and a cycle lane. It's going to look absolutely stunning when it's finished. So the whole redevelopment of Pilgrim Street is going to be broken down into three sections. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Of course, the bridge behind me needs no introduction. The Tyne Bridge was opened in 1928 and helped form the route, the main route between London and Edinburgh, up the old A1, over the Tyne Bridge, up Pilgrim Street, up Northumberland Street and obviously on its way to Edinburgh. That formed the main arterial route through Newcastle. Of course, as we're going into the 50s and 60s, as more people were buying cars and more lorries were being introduced on the roads to help deliver goods, we started to see a lot more congestion. Talking about the Tyne Bridge, it's actually going to be closed for about three months from uh, next week, I think it is, from severe work because it's going to get uh, a multi-million pound refurbishment well overdue because the, the bridge is starting to look really run down now. This particular section of the Pilgrim Street redevelopment is Pilgrim's Place 1 and 2. And that building that you can see behind me is uh, going to be called Bank House. That's a 14-storey grade A office block. That now occupies the land that used to be the old Bank of England headquarters, which was demolished in 2012. And the land just basically lay empty ever since. So it was Avison Young, the company who have been driving this particular section forward here, an arm of the Rubin Brothers project. To the left of it's going to be another huge office block complex, and in the middle it's going to be a kind of a, a public realm courtyard where you can build, basically just chill out and hang around. The building behind me that you see is called Warwick Chambers. It's a grade two listed building. Unfortunately, like other areas of Pilgrim Street over the past 20 or 30 years, it's starting to become a bit run down and tired. And this particular building was starting to attract criminal damage and graffiti. But part of this whole project, it's gonna be refurbished and regenerated so that it can be occupied again. And I don't know if you remember, uh, quite a few years ago, just down from Warwick Chambers, it used to be the old Warwick Street bus station. That's now completely gone. Another section of this Pilgrim Street regeneration is the building behind me. It's a Grade 2 listed building that used to be the old fire station, police station and magistrates court built in 1933 but have been left unoccupied since 2014. The police station there actually was the third one on that particular site since about 1840 but the whole lot now has been uh, moved to Fourth Banks. So a point of interest actually when the police station was first opened the police officers used to be able to have their families reside in there as well. Thankfully, Taras Properties, the development wing of the Rubin Brothers, are now developing the, the fire station and the police station into a five-star boutique hotel with about 60 rooms. And on the ground floor where the fire station doors are there, there's going to be a restaurant, bars, and just outside a street cafe as well. So it's going to be absolutely fabulous, fabulous when it's finished in two or three years' time. If you'd like to see more videos like this and be notified the moment I release the next one, make sure you hit the subscribe button. So the largest section of this whole Pilgrim Street redevelopment is Pilgrim's Quarter behind me and that comprises of the stack which is now gone, um, commercial Union House which used to be that big ugly office building which jutted out into the middle of Pilgrim Street, the Odeon Cinema which used to be behind that, Carlyall House, the Grade 2 listed building, Dex Car Park and Bamborough House. So as a matter of interest, Carlyall House, it was the Grade 2 listed building on the corner, 
unfortunately that's not going to stay entirely as it is it's going to form part of the office complex but all you're going to see is the facade the outside of the building the inside is going to be completely gutted and for, form part of this new contemporary grade a office facility so basically behind me is going to be a massive office complex being used for up to 9,000 HMRC staff which are going to be moved from their Long Benton and Washington campuses over the next few years so it's going to be in a kind of an oblong with a central um, public realm in the middle it's going to have a pedestrianized area behind me it'll look nothing like it does now it's going to be a lovely area that's going to provide a huge economic boost to Newcastle city centre I don't think anybody's expecting 9,000 staff to be here every day you're probably looking at around half of that but five or six thousand people in the city centre of the football bringing money into pubs restaurants cafe retail outlets is going to be absolutely phenomenal it's going to change completely the whole look and landscape of this particular area of newcastle with these massive state-of-the-art office blocks but also the retail side the restaurants the cafes the bars the landscaped planted areas the benches the street cafes all of it is going to be absolutely stunning in my opinion especially when the pedestrianise where I'm stood now on New Bridge Street West and Blackett Street up there by Eldon Square. Personally I'm all for this whole development area it's going to bring in tens of thousands of jobs and bring in hundreds of millions of pounds of revenue over the next few years because it's going to look fabulous it's going to be a great place to hang out especially when they pedestrianise New Bridge Street West and Blackett Street but also to um, landscape the, basically the whole of Pilgrim Street with um, seating areas plantations cycle lanes it's just going to be a much better feel it's a bit like when they opened the Swan House roundabout and they pedestrianized Northumberland Street and we've never looked back since they've done that and I think it's going to have the same sort of feel personally I'm really excited about the next few years but anyway that's my view you let me know what you think in the comments below don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like this particular video and in the meantime I'm going to catch you later.